guys, what's up? How are you today? In today's video, I wanted to talk to you about 10 things that I used to buy, but then I realized that I was wasting money and I stopped buying them. If you're looking for ways to cut your expenses and save more money, this video is for you. Make sure you watch this whole video and let us know in the comments which of these 10 you're currently spending your money on. It will honestly be really interesting to see how many of you have similar unnecessary expenses. So the first things that I stopped buying are unnecessary subscriptions. TV cable is the first thing that I cut out of my expense because I realized that I stopped watching TV and I know a lot of you can relate to this too. TV is just outdated and no one really watches it anymore. Right now we have YouTube and so many other streaming services that actually made the TV so unnecessary. And even with streaming services, so many of us are paying for Netflix, Hulu, Disney+, Amazon Prime, and we don't end up watching from all of them. I realized that I was keeping all my subscriptions just in case what if I like a show that I would like to watch but then I don't have a subscription and that just freaked me out? But then I realized spending money on those subscriptions monthly, just waiting for that one movie or one show to come out, I was just wasting it and it was unnecessary. And now I'm just paying for one streaming service and that is enough for me. I also know that some of you do the same thing with music apps like Spotify and Pandora, so if you're one of those people, cancel one of your memberships. I was also one of those people who downloaded apps that gave seven day free trials and just forgot to cancel them and they would charge me every month. And if you're like me, go to your credit card and make sure you're not getting charged for something you don't need. I also read some articles and it says that over 50% of Americans are paying for subscriptions that they don't use. And that's why I'm sure a lot of you are in the same shoes and this first point will hopefully help you save some money. The next thing that I cut out of my expenses is coffee. For the last four years as a college student, I would drive to school and on the way there, I would stop at coffee shops to buy myself a $5 coffee. And a lot of you probably also buy coffee every single day too. Let's make a quick calculation here. $5 times 365 days and it equals to $1,825 a year just on coffee. $1,825 is a lot of money. And it's not only about money at this point, you also have to drive there, you have to get in line, and that's time. You're wasting time. Time is extremely valuable and now I can spend that time on doing something productive instead. So the third expense here could be a little controversial and it's the paper bag or the physical books. I know that some of you love physical books, but personally I never felt that connection with them, so I switched to renting or buying ebooks. By the way, ebooks are generally easier to carry around and they're also cheaper because you're not buying the physical thing. Also look into renting the books instead just because it's cheaper so it's gonna save you money. And since you need to return the book, it'll actually motivate you to finish it faster and it also won't take up space in your home. And the next thing that I cut out of my expense that makes me very proud, my nails. So I used to go to the nail salon every three weeks to maintain my nails. And then I realized that I was actually spending a lot of time and money going there each time. My nails approximately cost me $80 each time, so let's make a quick calculation. So $80 times 17 times that I had to go there would cost me $1,360. So I obviously realized that I was spending a lot of money on my nails and I decided to take things into my own hands and do them myself. So I decided to purchase my own nail supplies and it cost me around $200 and that was just a one-time expense for me. So after a few times doing your own nails, it starts paying for itself and you don't have to have that expense every three weeks anymore. By the way, if you also wanna do your own nails, I'm gonna link the products that I use down below in the description. And if you don't know how to do your own nails, there are so many YouTube videos that show you step by step on how to do your nails and they are very easy to follow. My next expense is bank loans. In the past, I used to take bank loans to buy cars or expensive appliances and banks charged me from 3% to 6% in interest fees that I didn't wanna pay anymore. Now I don't take bank loans and spend money on interest fees if I can buy something in cash. But of course, if banks offer me 0% interest rate, I would take it. 
0% interest rate boosts up your credit score, and with inflation, you actually end up spending less money on the product. Another expense is trendy clothes. Being on social media, I always thought that I needed to spend my money on trendy clothing or popular brand names. Right now, I honestly think that brands are overrated and I don't dress to impress anymore. Trends go out of style quickly and actually end up on the discounted shelves. Even with sales, you need to control yourself because the main purpose of sales is to drag you to buy those clothes. Do not fall for that marketing thinking that you're actually saving money because at the end of the day, you're spending it and you have less money than you had yesterday. Personally, it is easier for me to control myself with this expense because I'm on social media and brands tend to send me their PR packages with clothing, makeup, and other things. And even then, I only wear clothing without logos and that no one can tell which brand I'm wearing. The next expense is seasonal decorations. There are so many holidays in the year, such as Halloween, Christmas, Easter, that a lot of people tend to spend a lot of money on. But I realized that if I initially buy good quality decorations, I can reuse them every year. Now that saves me a lot of money not having to go and buy decorations every year and it also saves a lot of my time so I don't have to search for those decorations. The next expense is a fitness center or a gym. I actually still have a gym membership just because I kind of go there every single day. But I know a lot of people have gym memberships and rarely absolutely rarely go to the gym. So if you're one of those people that has a gym membership but doesn't go to the gym, cancel that membership. And I know some gyms, it's hard to cancel your membership. So if you want to have a membership at a gym, make sure that they have a easy cancellation process. Gyms make a lot of money on those people who are stuck in that membership contract and never use the gym. There are also so many at-home workouts on YouTube that you could watch and not spend your money at the gym. So the expense number nine is food. We're all guilty of going out with friends, family, and eating out a lot. And food is actually one of the biggest expenses that Americans face. I stopped going out as much now, and I eat food at home. Now, as our lives are remote and we're spending 90% of the time at home, it just makes sense to learn how to cook and make your own food at home. Cooking at home is generally healthier, so you can stick to your diet and have a healthier lifestyle. And the last expense that I wanted to mention is newspaper and magazines. So I don't pay for the newspapers or magazines that you buy at the store anymore. And I also don't have any membership with the news outlet websites. Nowadays, you can find any sort of information for free and you don't even have to search for news the news come to you first. So those are the 10 things that I stopped buying because they were unnecessary. Also, don't forget to let us all know which one of those 10 expenses you currently have. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.